African swine fever is a very serious uh, infectious dis disease that inf affects domestic pigs and wild pigs. So it was first found in East Africa. It's present in a wildlife reservoir of warthogs and soft ticks that live in warthog burrows. But in the early 1900s, it spread to domestic pigs that came in contact with the wildlife. And in the domestic pigs, it causes an acute hemorrhagic fever with very high death rates. So since that time, the disease spread through sub-Saharan Africa and to Europe twice, 1957 and 1960. It was eventually eradicated from Europe uh, in the mid-1990s, except for Sardinia. But since 2007, disease was introduced into Georgia in the Caucasus region. And from there, it spread through the Russian Federation and into Eastern Europe. Most isolates of the virus cause uh, acute hemorrhagic fever. Um, so the clinical signs are at first quite non-specific. So there's a high fever, loss of appetite, lethargy. At later stages, some signs of hemorrhage might be observed, for example, around the, the tips of the ears or on the stomach. And you might observe diarrhea, including some bloody diarrhea. And eventually death occurs within a sort of 10 to 15 days usually. The disease spreads mainly by direct contact between infected animals and also by uh, contact with infectious materials. So infected pigs have very high levels of virus in blood and in secretions including urine, feces and oral nasal secretions. So pigs in direct contact become infected quite readily. Um, the virus is very stable in the environment and in infected meat, so indirect contact with uh, either ingestion of pork or by movement of infected vehicles can also be, or other materials can also be a route for infecting pigs. So measures for control uh, rely on rapid diagnosis and then the implementation of uh, quarantine and movement restrictions. So there's no vaccine, so there's not the possibility of using vaccination to control disease spread. The pigs that we use mostly come from a high animal health status farm. Most of the experiments we carry out are vaccination experiments where we want to compare different types of vaccines. Generally our experiments would each have 18 pigs in three groups, for example and we introduce a control group of non-immune pigs before challenge with the virulent virus. So we probably have around 21 pigs per experiment and we may do four or five experiments per year. So we're using between 80 and 100 pigs per year. So as much as possible, we use preliminary tests in cell culture, for example, one approach we use to develop vaccines is to delete genes to from the virus genome to try and produce uh, a virus that's attenuated, that is, it doesn't cause disease but can induce uh, an effective immune response that protects pigs against challenge. But currently there's not really any effective uh, method to test a vaccine in vitro, so we have to use um, animals to test the safety and efficacy of vaccines. So the classic approaches that were used to produce vaccines that have been effective against other viruses haven't worked for African swine fever. So we cur currently uh, have two approaches to produce vaccines. One is to try and improve the safety of live attenuated vaccines by manipulating the genome in different ways and trying to understand more about the immune response and what leads to protection and what leads to uh, like chronic disease, for example. And then another approach is to try and identify which of the many proteins that are coded for by African swine fever virus can induce protection. We first have to uh, identify which of the 165 proteins might uh, induce protection. And to do this, we've uh, used immune cells from protected pigs and screened those against a library of uh, short peptide sequences uh, containing sequences from the virus to identify which are recognised by the immune lymphocytes. And then we've taken the, the genes 
uh, for those proteins and cloned them into safe virus vectors that don't replicate in the pig. So these are, are vectors that are widely used for vaccine uh, production and are known to have a, a safe profile. And uh, we're currently carrying out experiments where we um, immunise pigs with pools of these virus vectors, each expressing different African swine fever virus proteins, and then measure the immune responses and try and determine which might induce a protection against challenge. Ultimately, we have to test vaccines in animals because there's no uh, really ef effective correlation between what happens in vitro and what you observe in animals.